Whether it was a prank or not, many shoppers are just outraged about the words that followed an attention customers announcement at a South Jersey Walmart. Authorities are looking into the racial remark. Eyewitness News reporter, New Jersey reporter Sydney Long is live in Turnersville with more on this story for us. Sid. Well, Susan, good afternoon. The Superstore's surveillance video may very well lead investigators as to who made the racial remark and why. Customers who were here Sunday night when it happened say it was a man with a calm voice. Uh, it's a little disturbing. It's sad that, you know, in this day and age that people are so racist. I could understand if it was... 200 years ago. Walmart customers are reacting to news that someone advised, quote, all black people to leave the chain superstore Sunday night. It came in an announcement that began attention Walmart customers over the store's intercom or loudspeaker. <gasps> I didn't know that. No, there's a lot of that's that's not that's not a good thing to say. What, all black people get out of the store? You heard worse things. Eh. Offensive? No. Former Walmart employee Bill Mitchell believes it was a prank. He says not just employees, but customers sometimes pick up courtesy phones like this one. It yeah. becomes like a speakerphone yeah. for the customer? Yes, all through, the, all through the system, all through the store. Will it stop you from shopping at Walmart? No, I don't think so. Walmart released a statement that reads in part, we're as appalled by this as anyone. Clearly, this is unacceptable. We are currently reviewing our systems to prevent this from happening in the future. Customers who heard the racial remark got an apology by management also on loudspeaker. Police arrived and the prosecutor's office is investigating. It's part of life, but, you know, some people just need to keep their comments to themselves. Now, we can tell you that the Gloucester County Prosecutor's Office is, in fact, investigating the incident as a possible bias crime. Customers who were appalled and outraged by the comments Sunday night, well, they told management that very night that they would no longer be shopping at Walmart. We're live in Turnersville, Sydney Long, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Uh -huh.